Hello fellow peasants. Today we're going to be making a Christmas treat that's in the shape of a Christmas wreath. Alright guys, so the Christmas wreath, um, growing up my grandma always made this. It was one of my favorite things around the holidays. It's basically corn, uh, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, uh, little cinnamon red hots, marshmallows, vanilla extract, green food coloring, and a stick of butter. And so basically when you're done, there's two ways. There's, there's My grandma used to make it with, it was like tiny little wreaths. I like to make one big wreath, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make one big giant wreath out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the uh, butter and the marshmallows in the saucepan and get those melted down. Right now we got the butter melting. Um, once it's fully melted, we'll put in the uh, 30 marshmallows and we'll stir that together until it's nice and creamy. All right, we're gonna dump the marshmallows in. Make sure the heat is on low and stir it around until it's kind of a mushy, soft, creamy substance. Okay guys, we got it melted down now. We're gonna add the corn flakes. And we're gonna add this, the uh, vanilla extract, and the green food coloring. Make sure you mix it really good so you can get the wreath, all of the, uh, all the Kellogg pieces green. You don't want any of it to be brown because Christmas wreaths aren't brown. <laughs> so just make sure you mix it up real good until it's completely green. All right guys, as you can see, uh, it's really green. Not a whole lot of brown left in there, so we're gonna dump this. It's starting to solidify. So we're gonna dump it onto this little plastic sheet here, the plastic pan. Scoop it all out of there. And then what we're gonna do is kind of push from the inside out and shape it. So we're gonna take these berries just kind of lay them on there. And they'll stick to it. Don't worry about pushing it on there too much. Uh, just kind of lay them. Make sure you, you put them, you know, in all different areas. You don't want them all in the same spot or form a ring. You want it to look real natural like. You don't want it to be, you know, all in one big circle around the wreath. You want you want them kind of in there to look like they're naturally placed as much as you can. And so once you do this, you'll let it cool for a little bit, maybe five, 10 minutes, and uh, it's ready to eat. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys want to give it a try. I'll put the recipe down in the description below. Um, it's a really good treat, uh, so take a whack at it. You might like it, you might not, but uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, just let me know down in the comments below. And you guys have a great happy holidays.